What's up guys, I'm Jason Luke and we're bringing you another Ninja Tricks video. Be sure you guys have a safe 5x5 five five area so that way you guys don't hurt yourselves or anyone else. Make sure you guys also have somebody trusted there with you guys so you don't get hurt. With that said, let's get started. Alright guys, we're going to start off with just some warm up stretches. Uh, we're just going to do some arm circles. Make sure we warm up and stretch out those shoulders. We'll gradually make them a little bigger. Don't make sure you don't punch the person next to you. Or, or the dog behind you, yeah. And then make them a little bigger. And then we'll go backwards. Got these nice and loose. We're gonna be doing maybe some cartwheels, flips, some jump 720s, you know crazy stuff. Or we're just going to do some ninja tricks and parkour. And then we're going to do some cross arm stretches. So take your arm, go across, maybe switch your whole body that direction. And then go to the other side. And then stretch that out. And then grab your elbow, bring it behind your head. You really want to gonna stretch out these shoulders because, like I said, for any uh, cartwheels, stretch the other side any handstands, uh, your shoulders are very uh, important part of these uh, exercises so you need to make sure you're mobile and ready to move them as much as possible. We're going to grab one of your feet and stretch it out. So this month's, uh, we're working on focus in karate. So what we'll do is try to focus in our balance. So hold, hold this still, see how much you can focus on your balance. Grab your other side, see how much you can focus in on these stretches and not get too distracted by the giant dog in the back. That's the exact opposite of what I want you to do right there. So focus. Now we're gonna take your necks. We're gonna stretch them out this way. A few more neck rolls. And then go the other way. And now do some, we're gonna touch our toes. So reach up high, like the Eiffel Tower. Is this more like the Eiffel Tower? We're gonna straight, reach up straight tall like uh, a giant tower, and then reach for our toes. Reach as far as you can for your toes. And then bring your feet across, or spread them out. And now reach down. Oh, there you go. Just like the tallest tower in the world in Dubai. Now you're going to reach for one foot. You want to stretch out those hamstrings. And focus in on your feet. You're going to focus. Then reach up again. And then I want you to do a handstand into the dog in the back. So you can go and do a cartwheel and land in the dog. Oh, you can do a handstand into it? Alright. Alright, 
On to warm ups. Okay guys, we're gonna start some warm ups. So first we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Wanna get the blood flowing. Wanna build up a nice sweat. After we've done some jumping jacks, we're gonna do some push ups. We wanna keep our back as flat as possible while we're doing the push ups. We're about 10. And then hop back up, do some more jumping jacks. We're gonna kick our butt. Then we're gonna go down for 10 more push ups. We're gonna get back up, we're gonna run in place. Kick our butt. We're gonna do some high knees. Finish off with some more jumping jacks. we're going to learn is a parkour skill. It's actually a leading skill. It leads into uh, other skills. Uh, it's called a power hurdle. Uh, this is a skill that can lead you into uh, uh, cartwheels or uh, mm -hmm. handstands or anything that you're doing a flipping motion. Uh, what, what it does is it increases the power in your move, and uh, just like momentum works on, uh, and energy works on, if you're already moving, you're gonna have that extra power already in your movement. So, what it is, is here. We're gonna stand, and you, in the end, we're gonna stand, and we're gonna bend our knees slightly, and you're just gonna jump up with one knee into to the movement. But we're gonna practice this. Yes, kind of the fall and focus. And first, we're just gonna start off by practicing this by doing a, a step and bring up the knee. So you're just gonna do a step and bring up the knee. Now this knee is whatever knee you find, uh, you tend to start off your cartwheels or your hurdles or whatever. Uh, so I usually start off with my left. So I'm gonna bring up my left knee and just go forward. So just step, bring it up, go forward. Try practicing this a few times. We'll go again. Maybe add a little skip into it this time. So bring that knee up. So we're gonna step, bring that knee, that knee up. Now make sure you're, you have a good enough area. Um, because if you don't have a lot of area to do this, you could fall into something or get hurt. So we're gonna practice a few more times. Step, knee. So you guys, as you start doing this, you're gonna feel your momentum start picking up. You're gonna feel your speed and the power that, that you have uh, is gonna be more potentially there. So you're building up that potential and energy and throwing it into kinetic energy that's already moving. So you're already in movement. You're gonna do that and bring yourself up. So now, what you really want is to be able to, you actually see this gymnast do this a lot, is you, you want to bend your knees slightly and 
and then bring up that knee. So without even moving, bring, bring up that knee. Now, if you watch my hands when I do this, you're actually bringing your hands back and throwing them up because you're bringing that energy down and all that mass and you're throwing it up into the air. So, right. So, you're gonna want to bring that energy up and bring it up. Or down and then bring it up. So down, bring up the knee. So let's do that a few times. Then bend your knees slightly and then bring up that one knee with your hands. Practice a few more times. Get this power hurdle down. And this is going to, of course, evolve into a power hurdle. Cartwheel, or handstand, or another skill. Um, and uh, well, actually, the next video will show you a little more about that. Okay, I moved over a little bit for this next trick because I needed more room in the grass. And Ariel, pretty much the queen of all of the cartwheel tricks. It's a cartwheel with no hands. Personally, it took me two or three years to get my Ariel once I started learning, so do not be surprised if this isn't easy. So in order to do an aerial, you really have to have a really solid cartwheel where your legs definitely go straight over your head and you can do it fast. That is the important part. So I'd say before you start learning how to do an aerial, you wanna work on getting your cartwheel fast and working on your one-handed cartwheel fast, either direction. So obviously an aerial is a cartwheel with no hands. The important part is how you prep for an aerial. When you're first starting an aerial, it's a lot easier to run into it. You can, I normally, I take two steps and then I hurdle. So pretty much a hurdle is like half a skip. You just pick up whatever leg you're putting down first. So say you're running, you have to step with the other leg and jump with this knee up. So if I'm starting with my right leg in front, how I do my hurdle is I step on my left leg. So if I'm running, step on my left leg and I have to jump with my right knee up. If you're doing it lefty, you're gonna run, step on your right knee, bring your left knee up, jump. That is probably the most common way to go into an aerial. Of course, there's other ways that I'll show you after, but I'm gonna show this way first and I'm gonna teach you how to do an aerial with this. So, if I'm running, I take a couple steps, put this leg down, hurdle, go into my aerial. I'd say to start out, you want to do that prep, but you just want to do a cartwheel. Do that prep, do a hurdle with a cartwheel, but go as fast as you can, something like this. When you have that pretty much down, you wanna start going for height. I'll show you what that looks like. So you're gonna do your prep with that. You're gonna run, hurdle, and you're gonna push up and try to get higher with your cartwheel. When I was learning how to do an aerial, I would always do my prep and I would try to go sideways. Like I'd try to push myself as far as I can that way. But the most, oh, hi dog. The most important thing I've learned, the thing that's helped me the most when learning my aerial is that you actually have to push up rather than push forward. So pretty much what you have to do to get your aerial is just keep doing that over and over again. You have to do the hurdle into a cartwheel, trying to push up as much as, as you can and eventually you will do something like this. Oh, hi dog! Another important tip that I just thought of, when you're going into your aerial, you wanna have your hands up on the hurdle, and when you go actually into it, you pull your hands in, because the movement of 
the movement of going into your cartwheel and pulling your hand in is just another lifting factor that's just gonna help you stay in the air for a longer amount of time so you can get your legs over. What's up guys? I'm going to be teaching you guys a cool karate kick. It's called a Pop 360. Okay, it looks a little like this. Okay, we're going to break it into a few main parts first. So first, we want to get in a guard stance with whichever side is comfortable with you guys. You're going to tap your back leg. You're going to pick it up like a front kick chamber. You're going to bring it to the side. You're going to put it out like a front kick. Bring it around in an arc and back in. Okay? Sped up, it looks like this. Okay. Now we're gonna add in the spin. So I'm gonna be in this guard stance. I'm gonna look back. I'm gonna spin, crossing my legs like this. Pick up that leg. It should be in front now. In your crescent kick chamber. Around and down. Okay, just speed it up. Okay, the last piece we're gonna add in is the jump. Okay, so we're gonna spin. We're gonna jump up in the air, and while we're in the air, we're gonna throw out that crescent kick. Okay, now all together, sped up. And that's it, guys. All right, so in every Ninja Tricks, video we do uh, end up with a little game that improves upon either uh, your cardio or some kind of physical aspect like balance. We're going to work on balance today. Balance is a important skill and it also requires a lot of focus. Uh, so we're going to first take, I want you to grab an object, it be a pillow, a focus pad, focus pad. Uh, or something to balance on your head. It can't really be a ball, unless it's really flat ball. Or, maybe just big stuffy animal, like this. And put it on your head. All right, now, we're gonna... That's too heavy. That is too heavy. So, maybe not that big of a stuffed animal. All right, so we're gonna put it on our head. Balance it on your head, and then bring your foot out, straight in front of you, and then I want you to bring that foot back, see, see how far you can lean forward without falling over. You can fly like Superman, and then bring it back up, put that foot down. Or without what? Or without making it fall down. Yep, so we're gonna bring our other foot forward. So you might need to use your hands to balance yourselves. And bring your other foot, that, that other foot straight back. And then bring it up and forward. And see how long you can do this. Let's try this one more time. If you want another challenge, you can balance out of your head, bring your foot forward, bring it all the way up to the side, and then bring it back, straight back, fly like Superman, bring it forward, and then bring it down. And we'll do that the other side, all right? Remember to focus, relax, calm down. You might need to bend the other knee. Bring that foot around to your side. Bring it back. Fly forward. And then bring it forward. And there you go. Try that a few times. And uh, that's it. Hope you come to see, watch another video of Ninja Tricks. And thank you for watching.